the Oracle dense rank function. In this video, we'll have a look at the dense rank function in Oracle, which calculates the rank of a row in a group of rows. It's slightly different to the rank function. Let's take a look at some examples. We're going to look at everything in the customer order table today. We can see the customer order table looks like this. We've got some order and customer information, an order date, two values for shipping and tax, a payment period number, an order status and an order value. The first example of the dense rank function has a parameter of 100. This is the only parameter we'll use here. We then specify within group and then in brackets order by order value. This means that it orders all of the data in the result set by the order value in ascending order. And then we put in the value of 100 into that list and then find the position or the rank in that list where the number 100 would fit. So if we just have a look at the data here and scroll down the order value columns until we find something that's close to 100. So we can see it ticks over to 100 of order value at about 432. Let's run this query here. We can see it shows the value of 420. This is because there are some duplicate values there and so 420 is the rank where the 100 value would fit. Now let's look at another example. It's the same example except we provide a higher value of 150. We can see the dense rank is 641. So if we order all of the order values in ascending order, 150 will fit into the 641st place. We can also provide two parameters to the dense rank function. In this example, we're providing a value of 150 and C. We also need to change this order by clause here within the function that says order by order value. We then put in the order status column. This means that we order by order value and then by order status. This means that the order value needs to match this 150 value and the order status is related to this value of C. Let's run this query we'll get a value of 649. So the values we've provided of 150 and C will fit into the result set if it's ordered by order value and order status at, at position 649. Let's see what happens if the provided value doesn't match with the order by value. In this example, we're providing a value of C, but then in the order by clause, we're specifying the order value column. Let's run this query. We can see we have an error here, invalid number. This is because we're specifying the order value column, but we're putting in a character field when we should be putting in a number field. Finally, let's have a look at the dense rank function as an analytic function. We're going to select some values from the customer order table, the order ID, customer ID, order status, and order value. We then put in the dense rank function we're going to specify that the dense rank should be over a certain partition. We're going to partition it by the customer ID and then within that order by the order value. Let's run this query. We can see that the data has been ordered by customer ID. Within that, it's then been ordered by the order value here from lowest to highest. It's then been given a dense rank. Once it gets to a second customer ID, the rank starts from one again. So this is how we can see a rank for a subgroup of data, even when we want to see all of the data. So that's how we can use the dense rank function in Oracle. If you want to know more, you can click on the link here and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.